Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So Nvidia has a problem with these connectors. It's ongoing situation. But my question is, is Corsair or was Corsair from the very beginning aware of the problem? I don't think anybody's talking about this, but I realize, guys, that Corsair, probably the biggest manufacturers of power supplies on the planet, is probably also the only one of the big ones, at least, that doesn't have this 12 pin connectors. Yeah like this one here corsair doesn't do that yes they have the power supply that is complied compliant with the pci 5.0 but they add converter they don't add this plug and i wonder why is that this can be many reasons yeah i don't want to be cons the conspiracy theorist but i wonder why they don't add this connector so let's talk about this yeah barn connector and barn connectors it means like in on every front so you have barn cables barn converters barn the slots on the power supplies and probably the most expensive one if it's barn 4090 that currently is for like what two thousand dollars so it barn is like everywhere now now guys to to like recap uh, quickly yeah this problem started from the very beginning and it mostly affects 4090 however there were reports reports of 4080s as well so the higher the power draw of the card the bigger the risk of the problem so steve from gamers nexus did few videos about this and the big conclusion like from the very beginning was that is mostly or like pretty much 100 percent according to gamers nexus is user problem when the user doesn't plug it fully 100 percent that would cause in the problem however I have an issue with that because I think it done a little bit of this service because there were more and more reports coming and I think a, a lot of people have genuine problem yeah with this connectors when it's fully inserted absolutely zero user error and they still have a problem but because of this conclusion and this like general public idea that it is you know user issue you must be an idiot if you have melted 49 you have 49 and you melted ah you see an idiot it's your fault you know people are kind of like happy because some rich kid burned their 49 but i think this is a problem so according to like more information now this is quite important if you're not using the official the converter the power supply like cable that is added to 4090 you at a big risk that your warranty claim won't be accepted and that's a big issue and look guys that's how bulky it is and that's another problem yeah you buy 4090 you get this this converter now when you put to your pc and you put this converter in now you cannot close your case without bending the cable pretty hard so that's creating a problem and look nvidia recently silently upgraded the connector here now maybe they upgraded because whatever reason maybe it's cheaper maybe it's better maybe there was never problem before upgraded so what but maybe there was a problem maybe nvidia is aware of a problem with this connector guys who knows maybe 4090 shortage is affected by this as well now the main idea why we have shortage of 4090 like the the most common knowledge is because of china export ban yeah so or the suppliers or AIBs was rushing to send all the 4090s to China. But guys, this like a lot of time passed, we still have shortage of 4090. Why is that? Why the production of 4090 doesn't catch up? Maybe Nvidia doesn't produce enough 4090 now as well. Oh, now because they don't want to cannibalize on the professional, very expensive AI GPU cells. Yes, that's very good point. Nvidia, you know, also called Ngridia, you know, and Jensen likes his leather jackets, so of course they just want to sell more expensive product, not cheap 4090. But maybe the connector is also a problem. Maybe they know this connector is fine for like 300 watts, maybe 450, maybe, but not 600 watts. And that's another reason why we don't have 4090. This is just a speculation, guys. Yeah, maybe it's completely made up. Yeah, this is like the least important thing. But maybe it is. Maybe this is yet another reason. Maybe this is all these three reasons combined. You don't have to pick one. Maybe they'll be all three together. But guys, there's more to this story. Yeah. Now, the cable mod, which makes cable mods, 90 degree mods, is recalling 
their their products yeah now you may say oh because this is a pretty crap product no i don't think that's the main reason i think the reason is that the connector itself is a problem again this is my personal speculation but i think the connector itself is a problem and they had to recall because when you use anything that is not from nvidia you void your warranty and they couldn't handle financially that because the this is cheap product relatively to the 4090 that can melt and you void your variety i think that's the main reason why they recall this uh, this connectors and guys more people were calling uh, that before like taekwondo he's like a builder like pc builder he is talking about this as well and he had concern the genuine concern he made few videos before that he sees a problem with these cables but finally now the bauer i don't know if you're aware of that he's like he's a big youtuber but not like two millions subscribers but he's not what he's talking about he's a youtuber but he also has his own company and he makes his own converters as well and he's saying that this power connector is garbage this is a problem and it will remain a problem so he's showing that even when it's fully seeded at least in his 4090 if fully seeded the cable is not bent at all you you blow pretty much on the cable you bend a little bit and he has problem with stability or lost image like lo lots of problems and yes very little people have problems with this cable yeah it's probably less than one percent but this is still a big problem even if it's a fraction of one percent maybe one day somebody will have a burned house and that's an issue you know one burned house is way too many so it's it's still an issue so i asked chat gpt uh, by the way i've got number four which got access to internet so i ask how common of a problem is melted connector on a 1490 and he's saying that you know it is a problem that nvidia recognized by saying like 50 cases of melted connectors however that north uh, northridge fix repair shop have like 25 per week or 100 a month so what is that you know northridge fix it's a youtube channel and a repair shop repair shop at the same time so this this guy here he's got plenty of views quite hilarious actually to watch him and he's keep you know fixing 4090 and making additional money or on views because a lot of views actually people are interested in the subject how many 4090 is melting so quite a lot and they kind of like related to that company who make that mod as well so i ask chat gpt again does nvidia refuse warranty if you're not using the included uh, converted included power cable with your uh, gpu and according to chat gpt which this version has access to the internet saying yes so even if you use cable mode or c sonic converter you void your warranty pretty much that nvidia is clear about this and that's what c sonic is making converter as well so i check what what is c sonic converter i wasn't aware of that and apparently not this one like this is a converter this is a cable but a converter at the same time and said okay so pretty much anything that is not from nvidia you void your warranty so does it mean that the cable that is added to power supply yeah because power supply comes with a lot of cables including gpu cables that's how you connect your gpu to the power supply use the cables that comes with the power supply so i ask uh, i ask the chat gpt again so what if i use the cable from the power supply and it's not clear but it does kind of suggest that it's still void your warranty that you must use like you must use to be clear with the warranty you do not have any problem however i can be wrong because as i said it's not clear but it seems like you must use that big chunky converter which is a problem because look you put your big gpu in the case use this like splitter with four cables and it's sticking out of your gpu how gonna you close your case how gonna how are you going to put the side panel you have to really bend the cable to be able to do that and then creating a serious risk that is gonna melt the connector or even without that as we have reports without bending any cables 
fully seeded cable can create a problem. Now, you see, you know, uh, some power supply have this one here, yeah? But you don't want to use it, yeah? For example, you don't want to use it because you don't want to risk. You don't want to have any dispute with NVIDIA. Now, you have not enough of these slots because you need to use a converter. You don't have enough of the standard slot because you're using two. For example, you have like more expensive motherboard using two, two for the CPU, yeah? Like, for example, this motherboard here, yeah? Two CPU slots using two and you don't have four you have two left yeah you can use maybe daisy chain but daisy chain is another problem that you know people don't want to use because according to many like advices you shouldn't use daisy chain if you don't have to especially you know if you have like two you're supposed to do like that not like that but you know you don't have enough so there's no choice so now another problem now I've got three, for example, and I wanted to have individual cables, you know, when I go with a uh, standard Corsair, I can do that. Like Corsair give individual cables, enough individual cables to do that. So I don't have to daisy chain yeah, on my card, but you would have to do with, with the other power supply. And look, this is very expensive, yeah, like for Corsair, one of the most expensive uh, product. Actually, I've got exactly this one. So look, this is ATX 3.0 and PCI 5.0 compliant. And yet it doesn't have this slot. What it does have is this cable here, which is a converter. But again, it's not a big problem because you have a lot of standard old school slots that you, you can keep, you know, still use it like all no you can use the converter added to nvidia gpu so i asked chat gpt again why corsair doesn't have this slot and they gave me answer that is more like pr representative of the company would give me that like no answer oh we have more time pretty much to develop and see if the market need market is not reactive to that they don't want that you know like kind of avoiding that that's what the answer i've got from chat gpt but guys, maybe, maybe there, there is a problem with, with this cable. Nvidia is aware, everybody is aware, Corsair is aware, but nobody wants to like talk because they don't want to, like Corsair doesn't want to be on the bad side of Nvidia, you know? Nvidia is aware and they want to push it under the rack. So yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you think. And uh, by the way, let me show you why I've got this uh, power supply, which is cool about this. You can connect to your PC and you can, for example, see the temperature, efficiency of this power supply, how much power in and out, because it's different because of efficiency. You know, you, you draw more from the power uh, from the wall and you actually provide less to the you know, all the components of your PC because efficiency is not at 100%, even though it's platinum. So very efficient. But efficient means it's not that efficient. So anyway, yeah, guys, what you think? I, do you think this uh, connector is wrong? Because 99, more than 99% of people won't have a problem. They have 4090 overclocked and they will never see the problem, you know? And some problem less than 1% of people do everything right. They connect fully and they will have melted connector or worse. Or worse, hopefully not, guys. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.